Hola, bienvenidos. I am Maestra Teacher and this is my Spanish channel. If you are an English speaker and you're trying to learn some easy Spanish, then this is the channel for you. In today's lesson, we're going to focus on learning the vocabulary words related to feelings and emotions. When you want to know how, how someone is feeling, what are their emotions, this is the vocabulary lesson for it. Remember that in my class, I'm expecting for you to practice with me as well. You're going to look at a picture, you're going to read a word, and you're going to repeat it. Look, listen, and repeat. The more you practice, the better you'll get at Spanish. There's no one watching us, it's just you and me, so don't be shy and practice. Remember that in Spanish, you have to be specific if it's a feminine or if it's a masculine. If it ends with an O, it's a masculine. If it ends with an A, it's usually a feminine. And you have to be specific when it comes to emotions as well. Because in English, when you say happy, it refers to anyone who's happy, a man or a woman. But in Spanish, happy, if it's a boy, you say, or a man, it needs to end with the O, contento. If it's a woman, contento. So all the emotions and feelings we're going to discuss now, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to show you how you say for a masculine and how do you say for feminine. Again, usually masculine is O and usually feminine is A. However, there are some indefinite ones that are not specific. For example, you can say the word feliz and feliz can apply to anyone. Sad is also an indefinite one. You can use the word triste. Triste means sad. So you can use it for a female or you can use it for a male. Now let's go to the other ones. Angry in Spanish, when you're angry or mad, you can say molesto or molesta. Some people also say enojado, enojada, furioso, furiosa. All those words can represent anger. For when you are worried, you can say, if it's a man, preocupado. If it's a woman, preocupada. For scared, you can say, asustado, asustada. Repeat, please. Remember that you have to repeat. If you want to say, you're you feeling depressed in Spanish, deprimido. Deprimida. If you are feeling confused, in Spanish you say confundido or confundida. If you are feeling surprised, you can say sorprendido, sorprendida. If you are feeling shy, you can say tímido. Timida. If you're feeling nervous, you can say nervioso, nerviosa. Say it. If you're feeling anxious, you can say ansioso, ansiosa. If you're feeling um, tired, like you want to rest. Tired in Spanish, cansado, cansada. Say it, cansado, cansada. Good. If you want to say you are fascinated, fascinated in Spanish, fascinado, fascinada. If you want to say you are in love, in love you can say, Enamorado, enamorada. If you are passionate, apasionado, apasionada. If you want to say you're exhausted, exhausted in Spanish, exhausto, exhausta. Exhausto, exhausta. When you feel embarrassed, over something, embarrassed in Spanish, you can say avergonzado, avergonzada. Jealous, when you're feeling jealous in Spanish, you say celoso. If it's a man, if it's a woman feeling jealous, you say celosa. Celoso, celosa.
if it's envy that you're feeling, if it's a man, envidioso or envidiosa, if it's a woman. When someone is kind, kindness or kind in Spanish, bondadoso, bondadosa. When you feel calm in Spanish, calm, if it's a man, calmado, if it's a woman, calmada. If you're feeling romantic, romantic in Spanish, romántico, if it's a man, romántica, if it's a woman. And the last one we're going to work today is the word bored. When you are bored in Spanish, aburrido or aburrida. Say it, aburrido, aburrida. Now let's practice a way of communicating and asking someone in Spanish how are they are, how are they feeling. You can ask, ¿Cómo estás? How are you? And your reply could be, estoy contenta, meaning you're happy. Or you can say, estoy aburrida, meaning you're bored. Another question you can ask someone is, what's wrong? ¿Qué te pasa? ¿Qué pasa? And you can answer, estoy cansada. I am tired, cansada. Now you practice asking questions and replying using the different emotions. Thank you so much for watching today's lesson and practicing with me. Please like my video and subscribe and stay tuned for further lessons. Hasta luego. Yeah!